We're in the middle of a big winter storm right now. I know it doesn't look like it right now, but it's been raining and snowing off and on all morning. If you guys have been watching the channel for a little while now, you'll remember that about a year ago, I put a Tempest weather station up in the top of this 100 foot tall pine tree behind me. And I've had it going for about a year now and figured it would be a good time to kind of do a little review on it and talk about how I like it and some cheap ways that you can improve it and make it a better system. So let's go get out of the weather. If you haven't seen that video about putting the weather station up in the tree, it is at the top of this ponderosa pine right here. And I don't know if you can see it right now, but it is right there. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll put a link, check it out. All right, let's go inside. I don't even know if you guys have seen the inside of the cabin yet, but here it is. Grab some wood. Get this fireplace stoked up. Burning some black oak right now. So let's talk about the weather station. I have by and large been very impressed with it ever since the beginning. I mean, it was easy to set up. It was easy to get connected. I never have connection issues, which is awesome. Just for your guys' knowledge, back there behind that stack of Amazon packages is the hub. And that tree is kind of back there behind the house. And there's a big metal roof on the house. So the range between the weather station and the hub is probably about 200 feet, 250 feet. And I've never had an issue with getting it connected. Overall, I've been really impressed by it. There's been one kind of quirk that I've uh, had to live with. And that is that a couple of times the temperature readings have been very off by like 10 degrees or more. And I reached out to the support line, I emailed with them, and they said that that's not really uncommon for use cases like mine where I'm coming up here periodically the, temp the weather station isn't on all the time. It only turns on and starts reporting data once I turn my inverter on here. So according to them, it can take a couple days for the temperatures to equalize. What I did when I was having that temperature issue is I bought one of these little Accurite uh, indoor-outdoor digital thermometers on my phone. The temperatures, which you can see up at the top, is pretty conducive for the outdoor temperature. I mean, within a degree, I'm I'm happy with that. So really that's kind of a non-issue. It's something I'm willing to live with. If you haven't seen uh, Weatherflow Tempest before, this is the layout. I mean, we've got all the normal parameters. We've got temperature, battery voltage of the sensor unit, which is up in the top of the tree. It's solar powered, so it's not wired, which is very nice. I don't have to worry about it. Um, we've got pressure here, lightning detector, wind. This is the one that I nerd out on the most is the wind and you get all the historical graphs. I think that we had a uh, 50 mile an hour gust last night, which was pretty cool. The one thing that I feel like the Weatherflow Tempest weather station lacks though is a dedicated display. They don't have a factory made dedicated display to my knowledge. So recently I picked up a Amazon Fire 7 inch tablet and I'm using that as my weather flow display now. So that's something I wanted to show you in this video. It's a really cheap and easy way to, in my opinion, really increase the functionality of this weather station. So this is it. 
it's the exact same display that you see on the phone. And yeah, it's just a nice little unit. You slide it onto the wall and I had this running all night and it used, it was at I think 80% battery and we're down to 63 now. So it's pretty easy on the battery, which is good. Let me pull this off the wall and just tell you guys a little bit about it. So again, this is the Amazon Fire 7 tablet. And I think I picked it up for about, I don't know, 40 or 50 bucks online. And that was like a Black Friday deal. I don't remember if the Tempest Weather app was on the Amazon App Store, but I did do the like sort of jailbreak deal where you can put the Google Play Store on this thing. And that allowed me to, you know, download all the apps that I want, all the weather apps, all the radio apps. It's a sweet little tablet. I mean, it's nothing special. It's just a cheap little unit. I got this little mounting deal on the back here and a little uh, like mounting plate that screws in. I just have exposed studs here, but it comes with uh, drywall screws if you want to do that. And it just locks in like that. You can sit back at the fire and kind of look over here and watch my weather, watch the wind. And it's a pretty sweet little deal. So in my opinion, if you have this weather station or you're thinking about getting this weather station, you should get one of those tablets and set up a little permanent display for your home. But yeah, winter storm in the mountains, stuck inside. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.